Tonight, a News for Jack's I team investigation into your tax dollars being swindled by people who say they need the government to pay them for a disability that they don't really have. Yeah, so two veterans and a government worker collected hundreds of thousands of dollars. Two pretended to be completely blind and another claiming her back injury was so severe she couldn't work. I-Team reporter Jennifer Wash shows us they got away with it for years until they were caught on hidden camera. This man appears to be enjoying a morning walk with family here in Jacksonville. He's pushing a toddler in a stroller, occasionally glancing over his shoulder to make sure no cars are behind him. And on another day, if you watch closely, this hidden camera records him getting into his truck and after a few seconds, drives away. A few hours later, he pulls back in. It may not seem unusual, except Jose Calderon Fuentes has told the government he is so blind, he's disabled. Here, during another walk, he doesn't appear to have any trouble seeing this man or the paper he's holding to give him directions. Calderon Fuentes collected more than $43,000 in disability payments from the Department of Veterans Affairs for bilateral blindness. He was also caught on tape mowing the lawn outside his home. And if you look closely on the left, you can see his hood is up as he works on his truck. And on the right, that's him washing a red car in his driveway. He was convicted of stealing government property, your tax dollars, and sentenced to five years probation. This is Susan Gizzy in the orange swimsuit enjoying a day at the water park, climbing the stairs, eventually reaching the top, no hesitation to ride. Here you see her at the bottom as she steps out of the water and heads back up. Gizzy also recorded here during a tropical vacation has collected more than $112,000 in workers' compensation payments for a back injury that she got while working as a mail carrier for the U.S. Postal Service in Ocala. An injury she said was so severe she was deemed permanently disabled. Here, she's clearly excited about a scuba diving trip she's preparing to take in the Dominican Republic. This hidden camera captures it all. She's loaded up with gear, and as we continue to watch, she walks with the heavy equipment to the beach. It appears to be a bumpy ride as she heads out to sea. Gizzy was convicted of stealing from the government. Again, your tax dollars. Do you think that people realize how often these kinds of fraud cases occur involving taxpayer dollars? Probably not. Curtis Falgatter spent 17 years as an assistant U.S. attorney. He says these kinds of white-collar crimes involving stolen tax dollars are rampant. Money is like robbing a bank, but it's easier and you don't have to use a gun. So, you know, there's a, there's a very large number of folks that are cheating our government. These videos and pictures catching fraud in the act make prosecuting them easier. But Fallgatter says actually getting your tax dollars back after they're caught rarely happens. If they're barely making ends meet, which is probably why they stole the money in the first place. Uh, they will not have very much to contribute to the restitution. And when their probation term expires, the judge has no choice other than to let them off. Calderon Fuentes agreed to pay $500 a month for five years in restitution. So that's only $30,000 of the $43,881 he received in fraudulent VA disability payments. So that's a loss of more than $13,000 to our government. Susan Gizzy said that she could only afford to pay $100 a month over three years. So if you do that math, that's only $3,600. That's nowhere near the more than $112,000 she received. So the big loser here is you, the taxpayer, to the tune of $108,000, which is why it's so important for you to report fraud to the U.S. government. Look for those numbers inside my story, caught on camera, which you can find under the iTeam tab of newsforjacks.com where you can also see hidden camera video of another veteran, Veronica Hahn, who built the government out of more than $390,000 in disability payments. She was caught driving even though she claimed to be blind. Jennifer Watt, Channel 4, The Local Station.